What up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're at Casa del Ulibarri. I'm going to be taking you to my little six hole course on my property and designing the signature hole 18. Hope you like it, enjoy, and let's see what we can make happen in the next couple minutes. Okay, so we're on, we're on hole 17 and 18, I think. I think that's what we decided. We're designing two holes today. I'm gonna show you guys the before and after a little bit of the work um, so you can see what goes in. Let me flip this around. Here's what we're working with. I got my boy Ryan. Uh, He's got the saw. Oh yeah. We're ready. Okay, here we go. All right. Double, double, double. Okay, we're off. I gotta get to work. Could be worse. All right, she down. Okay, we are finished. Let's get started. Hole one, par three. Hundred and seventy-five feet. Casa del La Pablo. I said Raptors Roost. I thought that Raptors, was cool. Okay, yeah. How about I let you guys name it? Name, best name in the comments. I'll put a big sign out here. Welcome to whatever you guys come up with. That'll be fun. I like it. Okay, you go ahead. All right. 174. So, obviously, OB left road. There's a property line that goes on the right side. There's like a small little ditch you can't see, but we will be able to see it, and that's OB as well. So it's like an island hole. All right. Guess this is what you thought. Oh, that's out of bounds, baby. Uh oh, first one of the truck hit a tree. Oh, what a break. Glide, baby. Oh, what a shot. Okay, so on the property, we have two acres, uh, and we're going to be using all two acres, but I hope you guys are surprised with how good the course is. I think it's fun, very technical, with a couple real scenic holes. So, let's see if Ryan can start off with a birdie. Course record is not set yet, because we just came up with it. Nobody's played those holes, by the way, that we designed today. Come on, baby. Oh, no. All right, here we are. 30. You want to tap mine in for me? Oh, this is kind of tricky, dude. There it is. All right, Mando, stand still because uh haven't quite worked out the tee pad situation. Concrete's coming, right? Part, yeah. Part three. Hundred and forty feet. Three different routes. I will be cleaning up this high ceiling right here, but I'm gonna go left wide. Oh, that might be OB. Yeah, I got the driveway deep, back yeah. there. There is a driveway OB deep. Ryan, I think he's stealing my route. He goes inside, but I love it all day. Should have a look. I don't know why you planted this pine tree here. All right, I'm gonna try to do this while filming. Let's see if we got this. Channel my inner Joseph Phillips here. There it is. All right, this is what I feel like is the signature hole. It's the first hole that I put on my property, and it already has a nice concrete tee pad, which is awesome. I said designing the signature hole in the title. I don't know if it's better than this one. This is a great hole. We'll see. Isn't that beautiful though? It is. How far is it? I've never measured any of these. 300 feet. Dang, we got a 300 footer in the building. Yeah, I should have grabbed a driver. Um, I'm going to throw my yeah, go free card here. Roller? Okay, not bad. 
Uh -uh. In a circle. Once these trees, those are giant arborvitaes behind it. Once those grow up, this is gonna be just an absolute beautiful hole right here. It already is. Oh, he turns it over, turfs it. Gonna need a long throw in. I am very lucky to have enough property to have a 300 footer. Cause this is a good distance to practice your up shots with your putters, your drivers, mid range, whatever you got to throw. Having something like here, like this hole to where you can go over and over and over again. Absolute money. Okay, a little meat left on the bone. Real quick while there's no wind. Also, there's an OB line behind all the giant arborvitaes that are mini arborvitaes right now. Is that getting there? Go! Oh! He got hazed by the car coming down the road. I thought it was gonna lift. All right. Little Parskis. Is that tied at two under? Huh? Tied at two under now? Okay, hole four. Shout out to Bush now. If you don't have one of these, they are essential in making you a better disc golfer of one and looking real cool on camera. You know what I mean? And they help for uh, course design too. Very helpful. Okay, this is about 215 feet. 215 uphill flight. Right. A little flip -up job. Oh, I was gonna say, do we go double mando through the trees to the right? No, I want to try to hit the house. Okay. With a bad shot. <laughs> oh no. Bushwhack. <laughs> Bushwhack. Alright. Real flippy. Go! Gotta look, Fuck that it. looks parked. Oh yeah. There's also a little OB, a little o OB like a uh, plant. What would you call it? I don't know, because I didn't know there was OB on this course. Yeah, there's like a, what do you call it? There's just oh, like- the shrub thing there. Yeah, there's yeah, a yeah, shrub short. thing there and there's wood that in lies around it, creating a little OB spot, which I always go into when I'm putting in the backyard, because that's where I practice my putting is on the high rise to another one. Anyway, I think it's a garden bed. We came up with it, Ryan did, garden bed. I got through the branches. Pretty stiff right to left too. Oh, almost off the tree. Almost. All right, we got a park job here. See on the high rise, garden bed, turbo. Ryan, kid. Ties it up, baby. Ties it up. Here's the before and after. Looks pretty dang good. Let's go up a little bit so you can see. It's hard with the sun right now. There we go. Look at that. Look at the work we have done to clear that hole out. Pretty cool. All right. Okay, hole five is 160 feet. Oh, it's my box. 160 feet right there. Straight tunnel shot. Oh, he pulls it, clunks the tree. That's the opening I needed. I choked. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, a little short. A nice little ace run though. Yep. Let's try. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Here's all the shrubbery that we cleared out from the fairway. <laughs> and he <laughs> landed right into it. I knew it was here too. That's the worst part. Yeah, you put it there. I know. All right, check it out. I mean, look at this fairway. Pretty cool. First ever tomahawk on this course. That's for sure. Good up. 
What I like about the hole is I was able to take a couple trees out and keep the privacy from the road. Because I only took out a few stragglers. One kind of big guy. But I still think it gives the privacy, don't you, Brian? Yeah. Too, which is nice. Alright. I think that's a stroke he gets back there. Okay. Alright, hole six, final hole. I think it's a toss-up for signature hole between hole three and this one. It depends on how many dents we put in the shed here in a minute. True. That thing can take a few dents. It's old. All right, this is sitting right at 200 feet right up the hill, though. Sloping eight feet up, it says. That's kind of a lot. It doesn't seem like that. You said, what was the distance? 200 yeah. plus eight feet. So it's yeah. probably going to play 220. Yeah, 220, 250. Also have the property line here on the right, which is out of bounds. And you, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a uh, blackberry bush wall fence yeah. where the blackberries can go in there. So that's kind of blocking you. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. We're going to go with... We're going to try to straight shoot. Do it. Watch your hand on it. got to watch your hand. Dark. That might be deep in the bush, though. That's fine. That might be deep in the that bush. Was a, that was a dart. I was telling him I'd rather throw driver on short holes sometimes than putters, mid ranges. You told me that after I got my disc out of my bag. Though. I tricked him out of it. Yeah. Don't hit the chainsaw. Yeah, I've been throwing low all day. Yeah. Now that I'm watching, oh, come back. Hey, well, this is on. You should come out. Nice. Um. Yeah, I don't think it's a question. Whole three is way cooler than this one. But this one's a harder shot problem. Okay, here we go. All the marbles. Gotta put the pressure on. Nice putt. All right, here we go. Foot fault. I'm calling foot fault. Just ignore people who are bullies. Okay. That was our little six hole match. And you got to see my little course here on my property. You also got to see a really cool design, designed by us, Ryan Kidd, with the chainsaw. Now that's fun. It's yeah. nice to have a little spot in my yard I can practice and just throw a couple putters here and there when you have company, get out in the yard, get the wiggles out, and uh, don't fall over. <laughs> the wind just got it. So now we're gonna film a couple lace runs and as always, we're going to see you guys down the fairway. Down the fairway. I didn't write that though. Oh, we almost made it. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. He likes that right side on this one, but, oh, it's pretty good. Oh, the big wide highs. I like that. It almost fell on the other side of the fence. <laughs> You want to cut that one down? No. <laughs> Luna no stamp. Staves. Yeah, it is stable. Oh. Damn, two staves. Pretty good, though. Good. <laughs> that would have been so cool, I'm not going to lie. <laughs>